There's a lot of gaming content on YouTube, so we do a unique and original blend of storytelling and virtual reality news and gameplay. Let your entertainment hair down. Welcome to my YouTube channel. We're going to be talking about some shocking news that's been unspoken of with the exception of a small stir in the news about two months back on the PSVR 2 headset. Dark forces are on the rise and they're also on the fall at the same time. Things are uncertain, not just in gaming. Things are uncertain in America. And we're going to be talking about regular reality as well as virtual reality because virtual reality doesn't get the credit it deserves especially on the psvr2 give me a like if you know it's an awesome headset and people just don't talk about it enough i don't think they marketed it correctly and i think that has to relate the dark forces we're going to talk about so there's some just absolutely mind-boggling news to me and i think you're either gonna think i'm crazy or that the news is also crazy so stay tuned we're gonna be having some fun this is a hype entertainment channel welcome to polish productions it's good to have you here we have a second set of dark forces behind gaming and that's the players themselves the darkness runs deep but we're going to talk about where it stems from because i don't know if the player base is really to blame and i have actually a solution for all of this we're here to feel good about our gaming in the mists of the grips of darkness we're here to be poetic too, I think. Failing to be poetic is what we're here for at the moment, actually. Let me explain it. It's probably your first time on the channel. If it's not your first time on the channel, thank you for subscribing uh, or being subscribed, believing that we can get the truth out about virtual reality. Comment, like, support the video again if you own a headset, guys. It's really important on YouTube and the PSVR 2 is awesome. It's the crack of home entertainment. We're going to get into it. We're going to beat the dark forces if we can. We're going to also feel good about our gaming and take it into the future on the PSVR 2. Everything's propaganda out there it's not dead guys it's not finished it's awesome we're gonna talk about it keep in mind please especially if you're a viewer of these people's content we're gonna clown a little bit and then we're gonna jump into my opinion and reaction that if I didn't care about you guys who don't agree with me this is new entertainment for based people if you're already based don't leave if you're already a headset owner don't leave this is a really important video for everybody it's I'm, at the end of the video we're going to talk about how this is going to help the headset and why i think virtual reality is in trouble but can easily not be in trouble dreamcast guy he's going to get his own video and he is going to make it on thumbnail this guy's unbelievable he's um if you're a fan of any of these people you watch their content just keep in mind, if I didn't love you guys or care about you guys, I would have put them on the thumbnail and done a direct video clowning about these people and done like a drama news video. That's not my goal here. My goal is to take the PSVR 2 headset and the gamers into the future. I'm going to keep saying it. This is an entertainment channel, so we're having fun with it. Based Americans, you know what I'm talking about. Part of the reason virtual reality is important is because we're tired of clown reality. All the incompetent service out there, the blue hairs, the nose ring, Joe Biden reality is way too overpriced, way too unclean, way too unsafe. Go virtual, go alpha. It's alpha. Love yourself. It's alpha. Love the country. It's alpha to want to save President Donald Trump. We'll get into that stuff. I have a whole thing of videos. I'll talk to you about it, guys. It's the craziest virtual reality channel you've ever been on. And then you got friggin' Top Hat Gaming Man and friggin' Lady Defecate, two pieces of trash in the YouTube community. They have done so much wrong. So much wrong to everyone and the community and the, on the type of advantage they have taken of all the goddamn viewers. You got Top Hat Gaming Guy e-begging up the yin yang and he can't even freaking gather up some coins to freaking go to the goddamn dentist and fix his jaggedy crooked disgusting yellow teeth that look like freaking stonehenge from one angle and then from the other angle it looks like a burnt down fence have you never heard of a dentist top hat gaming man have your wife lady decade ever told you to get your freaking feet uh, your teeth fixed get braces or something who god knows how bad your breath stinks we know that idiot and, and then you got freaking lady decade makes a friggin' crying video like oh she's like oh my god i'm getting i'm getting sued for 500 pounds and i can't afford it 
Whether it was a joke or not, Lady Decade, the point is you took a- This humiliates me to ask this, but everything's so shaky and the only platform that I've got that we've got <laughs> in a jiffy of Patreon. I'm oh, sorry, I feel stupid talking this, but I don't know what to do. Advantage of your goddamn viewers, you plug your stupid little Patreon, and after that, you got people joining your Patreon because they believed you couldn't afford 500 pounds to pay back the same goddamn guy. I don't know what it is about this guy. Maybe it's his voice. I find him so funny. Flotham, like Slotham5. Lotham, here's a picture of his tag on YouTube. Check his videos out, support his channel. I mean, I'm, I'm a small nobody YouTuber, so I'm not really hyping anybody up, but I am trying to get the opinion that matters, and I'm going to be recommending YouTube channels that I like that are smaller. I think it's really important to get people off of the mainstream uh, media, mainstream games media, if they're watching it. I have the PSVR 2 punch out with Alyssa Mercante, head of games media at Kotaku. Um, big games media company and I also have my old video this was the news story I was talking about that made small waves uh, in the beginning of the video that um, no nobody heard of it and it dropped off the face of the map I did a virtual reality wokeness uh, E word EXE word uh, over the Pavlov tactical military shooter featuring Alyssa Mercante Head Games Media at Kotaku. She put me on a list number three of the 10 YouTubers who were the biggest threat to like gaming and that needed to basically have their voices uh, eradicated from the internet. They, they called the police on me, her and her minions over the thumbnail. She accused me of making death threats. These, it, it, these people are petty and these people are evil and I'm gonna be introducing YouTube channels that are covering some of these stories. Some people say they're grifters or whatnot and I don't wanna get involved in all the drama but I think they have really good news stories that are important for gamers and even parents to hear. These are the people that made sure you never got the truth about virtual reality, the elitist games media people acting as activists disguised as games media reporters pushing propaganda and pushing content the people aren't asking for while trying to convince the citizens that are pushing back that they're grifters or they're complaining that everybody's diverse naturally that they're not forcing content and forcing woke ideology into our stuff they attacked the white gamers they said they wanted the white gamers ideology eradicated from the games media that's where i got my moniker the white gamer i'm the white gamer i'm the white gamer they've been clowning on i don't want them convincing my other american brothers and sisters to be clowning on the white gamers because it's not the white gamers you're clowning on you're clowning on merit in society and you're clowning on anybody with traditional American values, black Americans, Latino Americans, it doesn't matter if you're white. They call it that stuff on purpose. So meet the white gamer, the virtual alpha gamer. I'll say it again. It's alpha to love yourself. It's alpha to love the country. It's alpha to want to save President Donald Trump. Check out my saving American values and virtual reality content, especially if you're a non-gamer. That's why I'm doing the content like this. Take your entertainment next level. They never gave you the truth about this stuff. The multiplayer is crack. Support your values, interact. Therapy, counseling, virtual reality is more than just video game playing. Let's get back into the crack content. Good to see you. Like, comment, subscribe to be taken into the future of fun. Get the truth. Break the propaganda markets in America. Level up your gamer brain about what's going on with regular gaming and entertainment if they're not aware if they're on the fence give them the power to say no to the propaganda market and stand up for american values but also um yeah to get that information and in those videos to show that virtual reality is a really good way to control content and that's why people were never given the truth on virtual reality they want you watching people like this they want you living inside the meta quest they want you with these brainwashed social media influence they don't want you supporting your values interacting with real americans they want you on the paid for shills or they just want you on on the hack hack material they don't want you doing real stuff they even want you watching live streams with dr disrespect they even like that stuff they don't want you gaming healthy doing multiplayer inside the headset inside the action i talk about it in my videos meanwhile you're sitting in front of a library of complete inbox games a library of games you can literally sell one of them 
Sell one of those games, make 500 pounds or more, and give it to the goddamn guy. But no, you wanted to take advantage of your viewers. That's who you are. That's who these people are. Why do people look up and suck up to people like this that just take advantage of them? It's pathetic. You need to stand up and talk back and let friggin' Lady Decade know of what she did because she's trying to get everyone to forget. Then why did she delete that video then, right? That's one reason. She deleted that video after she realized how ridiculous and pathetic and how manipulating it was. You're sitting there crying like a little friggin' girl with your friggin' fat feet that you got going. You got a feet wiki. A feet only fans for Lady Decade. You can't even put nail polish on properly. Let me know if that's true. Let me know if you're a Lady Decade fan in the comments or if you've heard of her. Again, I'm not saying... I, don't, I think these people make trash content. I'm not saying I make great content. I feel like if I was trying to make content to satisfy a need on YouTube and get a bunch of views, I would use more of like a script thing and I would do more of something. This is an idea that I have and I want to try to bring it to people and also make hype content for the people that own the headset so if you believe in this like and comment help the video subscribe if you like what you see like my personality you want to see more stuff i'm going to be doing more culture stuff i got joe biden and alejandro mayorkas under the gun scope videos are going to be released but they're not going to be the direction i'm going to take the channel a lot of you don't like the red pill stuff i'm continuing to try to be nice and then if none of this stuff works out i'll do hardware videos but i'm hoping i'm titling and tagging the videos where it's also entertaining for non-gamers i'm trying to take america virtual so i don't know if i'm hurting the videos by also not doing like more hardcore directly targeted at the psvr2 people so this video was trying to still do both but was more directly at the psvr2 people i have so many cool thumbnails i didn't i made but i didn't use i have so many different ideas i was going to do like a metroid prime 4 comes to the to the psvr2 and i know i know that you guys i've said this before but the um the genotype game was really good and i just thought it was overlooked or i wanted to bring people a chance to revisit some of these games or get more people thinking about the psvr2 as like a b tier awesome action headset thing so yeah uh, i just have a bunch of cool ideas so if you think this thing needs some new flair or you like hearing from me it makes you feel better about the games you want to revisit stuff check out my resident evil president evil content this stuff is made with love even if i can't make videos like it again it's the craziest stuff on there feminist vampires attack and resident evil 8 check it out you'll feel better about owning the headset get to know another crazy american if you need it we're making being a patriot cool again the mainstream is dead you want to be alpha you want a game game virtual i'm also have flat, flat flat screen red pill stuff my seller believe video is awesome check it out um but yeah you want to just guys being cool is you're talking to a true patriot so hopefully that brings you comfort if you're also a patriot or a based real american uh, you know, it's not one guy trying to destroy America from the wholesome government, but it's the government trying to prevent one private citizen from uh, saving America. If you're based here, you know that uh, you really enjoy my uh, Save America, the most important video game campaign of all time. And check this stuff out. If you're a woke demon, guys, have fun with your life. But if you need a little encouragement to say no to the propaganda market, or you're super based, you need new entertainment, virtual entertainment's now for you, TV and movies are dead check out my channel spend some time getting intimate with the white gamer like and comment get intimate with the white gamer when i talk about the rise and fall of dark forces there are powerful forces there's globalist elitist forces after us i talk about it in my werewolf stalker video if you guys don't believe that stuff like comment subscribe and we doing a video on the trump assassination follow-up and i already have videos out on the incompetence of the secret service due to wokeness uh, under my alejandro mayorkas under the gun scope that's going to have more information my psvr2 news video from a couple days ago has information it's got the articles from uh just the news and stuff like that i mixed it into the gameplay this stuff is real it was so incompetent you can't blame people for thinking it was intentional donald trump is the only man that can close the border or willing to and save american wallets values and culture and i don't really trust that this wasn't uh, allowed to happen the shooter was spotted a while before it happened they still let him take the stage guys it's so sketchy the world 
would have collapsed, the Western world would have collapsed if Donald Trump was assassinated. He's really important. You were lied to about Donald Trump. If you think he's a racist, if you think he's bad, you have been digesting the propaganda market. He's just an America first president like presidents are supposed to. So all of this wokeness is not being accepted by the citizens. Microsoft just scrapped their entire DEI team. They tried to say they're restructuring it, but go woke, go broke. The American citizens are tired, but the elitist companies are still investing in woke propaganda like Disney and pushing it on us and pushing it in our entertainment. They're not trying to go anywhere in the culture war is not a guarantee even though we've made tons of progress and it feels like donald trump is going to be elected president and the citizens are waking up they are but we live in very uncertain times and the white gamers here to almost give you a chance to join the team of america first patriots wow it's cool if you're on the fence this is the right place to be if you're awoke demon and any part of you wants to change check out some of my content guys i made it with love and i made it so i could sleep at night because it's not your fault if you hate america they were told to t they told you to hate america but honestly the, the 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 incompetent people the untrained people the people that don't care about merit they're a pain in the butt to deal with out there in the public it's why i spend time in virtual reality i avoid the brain washed citizens again if you're already based we're leaving a clip of tucker carlson talking about the imagery and how iconic the moment was with donald trump i'm putting it up here because it's important the based americans are going to like hearing again and the non-based americans need to hear this you don't like the propaganda you like that you want to not digest the propaganda go look at the tucker putin interview and go look at the msnbc media talking about it even joy reed on there is saying she thinks it was staged the Donald Trump assassination attempt. It was fake, guys. These people are disgusting. Check out my virtuality, wokeness, execution, and joy read. But I'm leaving you with the Trump clip, and I'm going to be doing follow-up videos on all this stuff to connect all the pieces and make it make more sense. That's the other thing is I don't claim to understand it all, and hopefully that gives you some comfort. I'm not a political analyst. I'm not a news guy. I'm the video game player but i'm gonna give you my opinion on what i think is really important i think it's really important we be america first and we vote for donald trump conservative values are going to save america even if you're not a traditionally conservative or conservative minded person i'm not even a hardcore conservative lifestyle guys lifestyle guy guys guys this is time for me to put put the tucker clip up and then i'm going on i'm rambling guys my brain is fried in hardcore virtuality drug use check out the tucker clip check out the outro I have two recommendations for you, one for the based people, one for the non-based people. Check out Tucker and the virtual reality guns feel awesome, by the way. I think I was one of about 8 billion people around the world who watched it. And the more I watched it, the more it struck me that everything was different after that moment. Everything. This convention is different. The nation is different. The world is different. Donald Trump is different. When he stood up, after being shot in the face, bloodied, and put his hand up. I thought at that moment, that was a transformation. This was no longer a man. Well, I think that. I think it was divine intervention. But the effect that it had on Donald Trump, he was no longer just a political party's nominee, or a former president, or a future president. This was the leader of a nation. And. And I think there's a, I think there's a difference. So I don't think the PSVR 2 is in as much hot water as people say. My behemoth reaction is a really great way to get hyped about the future of VR. There's great games coming out. Resident Evil support has been confirmed for the future. My, one of my predictions on if PSVR 2 is actually in trouble was if we were gonna get announcements for that, and we are. So I'm gonna do a video on that. Crack virtual reality content to come. PC uh, to PSVR 2 adapter coming. I also, at the same time, don't think the future of virtual reality gaming is a guarantee, and I don't think our culture war uh, winning that is a guarantee. Even if and when Donald Trump becomes president, we have a lot of damage to undo to our culture, to our citizens, uh, in addition to our economy and stuff that Donald Trump actually needs to work on. It's our 
country moving forward as people. And so I think people getting the right information about virtual reality might finally expand the virtual reality market and get it to the people that were always supposed to have it. I have a can I break the hardcore virtual reality market with Elon Musk video. It's awesome. Check it out. Uh, and just so I'm doing that, I'm bringing out uh, hopefully the information that matters. There's some setup. There's some stuff with the technology, but it's not a gimmick. The technology is incredible. I'm going to get into it in other videos, but it's worth it, especially with going out in the public is expensive. It's crazy. It's a hassle. Virtual reality is now convenient and cheap. So we need to take ourselves into the future. We need to take gaming into the future. Even if you're not going to go virtual yet, you like me, subscribe to the channel. Uh, virtual reality is a lifestyle choice. It helps spice up gaming. I still play flat screen guys, but I, I love virtual reality. It's really important. Uh, and the virtuality stuff on PC is going to be awesome. Hopefully the adapter is good. We'll get into that when it comes out. I'll do a review. And Joe Biden is selling out America anyway. And half of the citizens love it. So who cares if Sony PSVR 2 is selling out the headset to PC or whatever. Mainstream is dead. Whatever they tell you is dead is all lies, all propaganda. Flat screen's dead, guys. We have Black Myth Wukong. And that's it. Uh unbelievable it's clown reality out there stay out of joe biden reality way too overpriced way too unsafe and way too unclean let's take back america the entertainment renaissance of 2024 the virtual revolution virtual reality is the future guys it's incredible check out the jack black death threats in virtual reality if you are already based if you are not yet yeah, base check out my virtual alpha gaming red pill video and as far as dreamcast guy he's gonna get his own video and he is gonna make it on thumbnail this guy's unbelievable he's just he, guys multiplayer and virtual reality is the future drop the drop the clown reality crap